Hello, everyone. Hold on. Let me uh, lower the volume here. All right. So, welcome to Mist 4 Revelation. Ooh. Yeah, I wasn't planning on doing a stream today, but I've had a lot of anxiety going on recently, so I decided, eh, why not? Play something super chill and calming that doesn't give me any anxiety whatsoever and <coughs> sorry and point and click uh puzzle games especially mist and mislikes uh that really does it for me so enough of my prattling let's start Beautiful. Isn't Tamana pretty from here? I remember some of the other times you visited us. You've always liked stopping here. It's one of my favorite spots, too. Go ahead. Take a picture. Just make sure your thumb's not in the shot. Dad always ruins his images that way. Did you get it? I think you should keep it in your journal. That way you can take it out and look at it whenever you miss us. I'll tell Dad you're here. Come on. Okay. Oh, it's good to be back. Let me let's turn on the subtitles. speed a little 
there we go. Resume. Shouldn't take this long to go between scenes. Uh... Okay. Yeah, it's just something off about the game. Hello, my friend. So you made it in one piece, so Misha's driving wasn't too erratic, I hope. <laughs> um, and you're probably wondering why I asked you. The truth is, I, I need your help. As you know, my son, Cyrus and Akinaw, were trapped 20 years ago after they destroyed many of the ages I'd written. At the time, Catherine and I decided to leave them imprisoned because we'd hoped it might reform them. Now, Catherine believes our son should be released. But I need an objective opinion. I must find out if either Cirrus or Akinar deserve to be freed, and you're the only one we can trust. You remember my old crystal viewer? I've made some changes to it. I haven't yet calibrated its sound component. Um, it'll actually be quicker if we do this together, and I can show you the two prison ages before we link to them. So if you step to the panel behind you, we can begin. Whoops. Sorry. Go, uh, go on. This shouldn't take long. Okay. I'm going to transmit a waveform that's being generated by the first prison age. It will appear as a yellow line in your right-hand monitor. Here it comes. In order to hear Haven, you must manipulate the blue line until it exactly matches that waveform. The blue line is the result of two combined signals, which we'll manipulate separately using the three dials, amplitude, frequency, and phase. But first, we have to select the signal to manipulate, so move the slider left or right. Now turn the leftmost dial to adjust the signal's amplitude or volume. The left dial seems well adjusted. Try turning the center dial to adjust the signal's frequency. The frequency needs to be faster. Try moving the slider to select a different signal. Try the amplitude. That's the leftmost dial. More amplitude. The volume sounds okay. Stop! The amplitude was fine. Louder. The amplitude seems fine. Now turn the dial on the far right to adjust the signal's phase. Got it. Now hang on a second. I'll lock in the adjustments and send you the waveform for Spire, the second prison age. Here it comes. The left dial seems well adjusted. Try the frequency, that's the center dial. Uh. The center dial seems well adjusted. Adjust the leftmost dial. The amplitude seems fine. Frequency's pretty close now. No, stop. The frequency was good. The center dial seems well adjusted. Try the phase dial. That's the one on the right. More to the right. It, it needs to move left. Uh, come on. Try moving the slider. Uh, the dial okay. on the right. Try 
Try moving the slider to select a different signal. Try selecting a different signal. Try adjusting the frequency. No, no, that's the amplitude dial. Less frequency. The speed's not good. No, that's the phase dial. Uh. I'm all right. Okay, we'll work on the phase instead. A little more left. Come on. Keep moving it to the right. More to the right. The phase's positioning seems fine. Okay. Try the frequency. That's the center dial. Increase the frequency. Try moving the slider to select a different signal. This one Try always adjusting the frequency. This one always gives me problems. Oh. The frequency's not right. Oh no, too much. Try selecting a different signal. Oh, that dial is okay. Turn it back. Try moving the slider. Try selecting a different signal. Try the center dial. Try slowing down the frequency. Decrease the frequency. The frequency seems fine. Oh. Try the phase dial. It's the one on the right. We're close. Try moving the slider. Reposition the phase. N no, you've gone too far. Try selecting a different signal. Try moving the slider to select a different signal. Okay. Try selecting a different signal. Left. Close. Try the slider. Try selecting a different signal. I'm close. Keep moving it to the left. Try the phase dial. It's the one on the right. Keep moving it to the right. Okay. Left. Mm, too big of an adjustment, I think. Yeah. Try moving the slider to select a different signal. Try moving the slider. Uh, Try selecting a different signal. Try moving the slider to select a different signal. Adjust the phase dial. Farther left. Keep moving it to the left. No, not the amplitude. A little more left. N no, that's the frequency dial. Frequency's pretty close now. Okay. A little more right. Try moving the slider. No, 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 no. The phase was set correctly. <laughs> it, it needs to move left. so loud. The left dial seems well adjusted. Reposition the phase. Oh. Farther to the right. I'm so close. A little more right. Try the phase dial. It's the one on the right. Oh, no. Too much. Try moving the slider to select a different signal. 
try moving the slider. Try selecting a different signal. Adjust the phase dial. Uh... Try moving it right. A little more left. A little more right. Call. Try moving the slider to select a different signal. Try moving the slider. More to the right. A bit quieter. The center dial seems well adjusted. Phase is pretty close now. Try Come moving on. the slider to select a different signal. Come on. No, 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 no. The phase was set correctly. Try moving the slider. Try selecting a different signal. Okay, Atris, shut Turn up. Amplitude dial. You've got it. Don't change a thing. I'll just lock it in here. <laughs> that took way longer than it should have. Ah, got it. Well done, my friend. You should be able to hear both prison ages now. So let's begin, shall we? What in the name? Ah. Image modulator short circuited wires are completely fused. Now well, the viewer itself seems okay. So maybe if I link to rhyme. All right. A slight change in plans, my friend. The explosion must have shut down the main power supply and damaged the viewer's external image modulator. There's another one on rhyme, so I'm gonna link there and retrieve it. Oh, I'll have to stop at the cleft for some tools first. Um, why don't you get full power restored while I'm gone? Go to the water wheel control room. Close both emergency release gates and come back here and use the crystal viewer to contact me. The, uh, the crystal combination to see rhyme is in my journal. Oh, uh, you'll have to turn on the roof antenna for the viewer will work. Keep an eye on Yisha, will you? I'll be back. Okay. Ninety-seven, nine fifteen. I am always surprised by how good it feels to return home after one of my journeys. In the day, heat shimmers off the cliffs, bathing me in unexpected warmth. At night, gentle breezes stir the lake, and I often hear Catherine singing to Yisha. The sound of their voices fills me with such joy. I find myself wondering why I ever left. Perhaps I am more aware of this tonight, having spent so much time alone in rhyme. The trip was unavoidable. It has been weeks since I viewed Cirrus and Akinar's prison ages, and I needed to be assured of their safety. The crystal viewer did not show much, so I began considering how I might improve it. I am now fairly certain I can achieve a tighter image if I redesign the mechanism myself. I have yet to tell Catherine of these plans. I do not wish to raise her hopes prematurely. 97.922 After far too brief a visit with my family, I have returned to Rhyme to conduct preliminary tests. The frigid temperatures in this age are vital for the crystals to function, yet I find it increasingly difficult to work in the cold. Perhaps I can find a way to simulate extreme temperatures inside the viewer itself, so that I can install it into Mana when ready. 97.10.1 Tonight I set aside experimentation for a few hours to watch the lights illuminate Rhyme's sky. Their beauty has not dimmed since first I saw them. I could not enjoy the, fully enjoy the show, however. For what put me in mind is of Cirrus and Akinar, and the months we spent here constructing the towers. So on. What had been a- Soon. What had been a happy memory for me was mired in regrets. 
I doubt I will ever know what caused my sons to become so greedy. I only know that when they looked at the ages described in my library, fantastic worlds one could travel to easily, simply by touching a book's linking panel, they saw only dreams of wealth and power. They devised a plan. An evil plan. When my back was turned, they linked my ages, plundered, and destroyed them. I know Cirrus and Akinar must pay a price for these crimes, yet it brings me no joy to picture them stranded on the two uninhabited ages I wrote to protect my library from thieves. I only hope that my sons will someday reject their wicked yearnings and find it in their hearts to reform. 97, 10, 27. After experimenting with several liquid gases, I have found a pressure variable that should allow the Crystal Viewer to function in Tomana. Tomorrow I link to Relation to enlist help from the Guild of Machinists. 98, 110. Catherine was unusually sub subdued when I showed her the new blueprints. She trusts that the Viewer will work, but wishes we could visit our sons in person. I would like that as well, but until I am convinced of remorse, I cannot risk their escaping. 9847. I was fairly certain the evaporator coils would work, and indeed, I was able to achieve a blurry image of Spire within the new viewer's blank book. Unfortunately, a more powerful suppressor is needed to stabilize the image. Guildmaster Andritus suggested that I install several geodes inside the roof of the observatory, then use an antenna to focus them. This should amplify the clean frequency enough so that the crystal viewer can work. Oh. Okay. Uh, 98.629. Success. Not only was I able to view both Spire and Haven, but I also saw my laboratory on Rhyme quite clearly. The crystal code for Rhyme was difficult to remember, having not had much reason to use it previously. I must make a full list of codes soon, but for now I will keep Rhymes close at hand. Oh, let me... Yellow. Green. And then... Blue. Okay. 98, 10, 9. I always knew my sons had great potential. Ow. Sorry, bumped the desk. But today I saw something that truly amazed me. Cirrus is harnessing electricity. At least, that is what I assume, for the viewer caught a brief glimpse of something I have never before seen in his age. It had to be a man-made construction. A burst of interference destabilized the image before I could study the device properly, but its existence offers proof that at least one of my sons is making the most of his confinement, rather than wallowing in despair. 981015. The interference effect is curious. It has disrupted my viewing of ages on more than one occasion. Although I first assumed it to be a problem with the geodes, I now believe it to be subsonic in origin. I think the roof antenna is picking up wave fluctuations emitted by one or more ages. If this is true, I might be able to use the fluctuations to hear what is occurring in an age. I shall have to think on this carefully. 99.426 It has been an exciting two weeks. Catherine, Yisha, and I have just returned from Relation, where I spent most of my time in conversations with various guild masters. I am now convinced that the shape and color of the crystals gives them individual resonance signatures. By combining the resonances of five crystals together, I can discover a global pattern of emissions, sound signature, as it were, that is unique to the age being viewed. Guildmaster Andritus assisted me in drawing up plans for a filtration panel that will enable the antenna to hone in on whatever wave fluctuations I want. I truly will be able to listen in on an age. Tomorrow I begin building the panel. I have decided to use Rhyme as its preset configuration. Uh, okay, we're close to the end. Since that is the age which first enabled me to construct the Crystal Viewer. 99721. The panel is finished. I am too tired to test it tonight. 1012. Catherine tried to hide it, but the sounds we heard coming from Akinar's prison age nearly brought her to tears. Once again, I had to reassure her of his safety. My words eventually convinced her, but I know she longs for more substantive proof. I fear she may take matters into her own hands soon. 
I must confess, I too long for more information than the viewer is currently providing. Tomorrow I shall link to Rhyme. I have an idea for an attachment, something akin to a moving eye, that will allow me to change points of view while using the Crystal Viewer. If it works, I may finally be able to see if my sons have reformed. Okay. I love that little... You tap on stuff. And it makes an appropriate noise. Okay, that's just paper, nothing there. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful down there. Alright, there's the crystal viewer. Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna look through a telescope later. Anyway. Enough futzing around in here. down okay can't go down any further <laughs> Don't worry, he'll come back. It's his favorite sleeping spot. My necklace showed it to me. Got it two weeks ago on an age called Serenia. Shows me all kinds of stuff. You think that's strange that my necklace shows me things? Dad does. He says that all the things I've seen on Serenia aren't real. My brothers believe me, though. Dun, dun, dun! Uh, 
Okay. Okay, so I need to do something here. I don't think there's enough power is the thing. Yeah, this some parts of this game are like the plot is a little stupid and some of the puzzles are bad but this looks so good like visually this may be my favorite of the mist games just because it's the farthest that they could go with pre-rendered graphics. And that's the family tree. I think that's Atris there, and so that would be Cirrus, Akinar, and Yisha. Not necessarily in that order. So yeah, Yisha has been in contact with her brothers, Cirrus and Akinar, who, if you'll remember from the original Mist, they were in trap books that were just like black voids that weren't specific ages, but specifically traps, which is uh, a real retcon for Mist 4, but... Okay. Okay. So I reset something. I think I, like, flipped the breaker back, essentially. Uh, code panel. Turn one of the lamps off to reset the code readout. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back here. That's a later thing. Oh, it's just... I really like the visuals of this game. Like... I don't remember too much visually about Haven, but Spire is possibly like the most beautiful age in the entire Mist series. Let me guess, Dad blew the power again, didn't he? He does that a lot. Mom made him install an extra power box in here just in case. Oh no! Boss is supposed to make sure certain things always work in the house. There aren't enough rows lit up correctly. Only a green light on top of a filled row means something's getting power. I wonder if we can move them. Better not. 
Mom doesn't like me messing with electrical stuff. Come on, little guy, let's go see your friends. I, on the other hand, have no qualms messing about with electrical stuff. Hey, I never noticed that before. So cool. I think my beetles are making a nest. Oh, wow. I'll have to show this to Dad soon as he gets home. He loves this kind of stuff. Oh, that's neat. It's a, it's a microscope. Of some kind. Okay. 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 I think I gotta power up the water wheel. Ugh. Okay, so that's a reset. Alright, so I need one, four, five. Okay. Okay, so I need to get five.
Yes, that's it. Okay, got the water wheel powered up. Yeah, this game definitely is going to take longer than uh, the previous Myst games. Especially because I'm less familiar with it. Something happened here. I, r I know what, but I won't spoil it. And now it's night. And Tomana is going to serve as our hub. Okay, it's just the tree again. Okay, first thing to do, go back and contact Atris. Okay, how do I start this up? Oh, right, I need to align the antenna. Atrus has security cameras. Okay. Okay. 
Is there a lever or something I have to pull? Okay, let me, uh... Ooh. Uh, okay. Here we go. Whoops. Is that enough? Is that all I had to do? Is that all I had to do? Just hit the uh, the button. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay. So that's the first one. Okay, and now... Uh, Second one was that, and it was cyan. And then the third one that one yellow. Let me try it. Okay, let me... Right, I have this now. Okay. Uh, it's going fine. Everything's fine. Why do you ask? Uh, 
Nothing's gone wrong. <laughs> hey there, Parker Solom Sever. Sevier. I don't think I've seen you around before. There we go. Uh, my friend, are you there? Hope you're getting this. I am receiving you. Listen, there's a terrible electromagnetic storm here. I can't leave Rhyme until it's over. And I know what you can do. Put a desk in my bedroom. Below the top drawer, you'll see a symbol. Press on it to open two compartments. The commentaries I wrote on Haven and Spire are inside. Oh, and tell Isha not to forget her homework. Yeah, I'm playing through all the missed games. Okay. Okay, so bedroom. Whoa, up door. Okay. The VR one, specifically? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. I am interested in that, but... <laughs> I love this. It's a turbo lift now, not just an elevator. Nice. I'm personally really looking forward to uh, Firmament, which is Cyan's next new original game, built for VR. I can't wait for that. Okay. Uh, there we go. Alright, I think I'm gonna go. I believe this is Haven. Yes. This is the age I'm gonna go to first. So this is the one I'll read. Our never, yeah, I'll just read it now. Never be discouraged by a mistake, Beatrice. My grandmother Anna always used to say, strive to learn from it instead and you will achieve great things. Today on Haven, I saw my grandmother's words come true. The broken ship merged into the causeway near Haven's coastline is exactly what I'd hoped it would be. A promise of intrigue and adventure so palatable it made my own heart race with excitement to see it. I thought of how much fun the boys I'd met in Stone Ship Age, Emmett, Branch, and Will, would have had playing in it, and almost wished I could bring their children here to do so. But Haven must remain off-limits to all if it is to become the prison world I wrote it to be. My sole foray to the Age has proved it to be capable of supporting human life, though of course none exists there at this time. Much of Haven's interior is comprised of a dense tropical rainforest which is obviously teeming with beasts. I saw several as I explored, though they usually kept their distance. A few of the fruit eaters did stare at me curiously as I made my way under their nests. No doubt, having never encountered a human being before... Uh, go ahead, I, I've played this game before, so you're not really spoiling much. No doubt, having never encountered a human being before, they did not think to fear me. They might even have summoned up the courage to become friends, 
had I stayed there any longer. Alas, I could not, for the weight of urgency was upon me. Having convinced myself of the need to protect my missed library, should some overly greedy explorer stumble onto it, I felt it necessary to link home very quickly. Taking only a few brief minutes to watch the sunset over Haven's freshwater lake, Uh, memory necklace. Uh, yeah, I know. I remember that. I don't know where it is. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Taking only a few brief minutes to watch the sunset over Haven's freshwater lake, I swam out to the middle and linked away. By now, the linking book I used will have sunk underwater and been destroyed. Consequently, there remains but one task to finish before I can sleep. Oh, yeah, I know about the fireplace. Uh, I must write two additional linking books tonight, one for Haven and one for Spire, my other prison age, and place them on display in the library. I shall also have to warn Cirrus and Akinar to stay away from them, and tell Catherine, of course, when all is finished. So, Haven... Green and yellow. I'm taking notes on a piece of paper I've got here. Yeah, there it is. Never be discouraged by a mistake, Atrus. Okay, yeah, I prefer to read the books. That's what I've done for all the other, other ones. Okay, so. Turn both lamps on. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm just going to look around for any other stuff. Uh, whoever, my love. We must be united in this. Can you find it in your heart to listen and forgive? For I cannot be strong in this alone. So that's either from Atris to Catherine or from Catherine to Atris.
Okay. Something blew this open. Haven. It's a, it, okay. And that's the linking book back. Yeah, something blew this open. Okay. Let's go and explore Haven. Okay, that's where I can go. Can I?
Did I not go this way? Hey, Branch Gurga. But then... I go from here. There should be. I d if if so, I'm just not seeing them. Oh, oh, oh my God! There we go. down the rope ladder. Okay, that takes me back. So, whatever that monster is, Akinar killed it. Let's move on to the ship. <laughs> Little crabs. Okay. Let me go this way. Okay, the counterweight.
Okay. Yeah, I knew you could get out to the ship, but I just didn't know how. Oh, wait a second. Okay, it needs to be counterweighted properly, so. Okay. Then do I have to move this box off? Like I still can't get over there yet. Gotta raise up this section of walkway. So there's a mechanism or something. I need to use for raise that piece of the bridge. Or do I have to take this with me? Yes, I do. That's it. Gotta I put one more back in.
Okay, I think I gotta take out one of the metal balls. I think I gotta take out two, is my guess. All right, going up. There we go. Counterweights. And there's the gold that lured Akinar here. All right, so various tracks. go back and take a look at these things. Uh, nope. They don't do anything. They look like bear traps made with forks. Okay, so Akinar took drugs. Mal, he was here. Is there anything else down here? I don't see anything. Okay, and up then. Whoa.
checked and checked. No sign of it here or here. Maybe here? What's in the South Jungle? Okay. Akinar's journal. I cannot believe I resisted linking here for so long. Father's warning kept me away. He said Haven was an age of great wealth, but visiting it would be dangerous without him. Lying serpent. Should have known he would say anything to keep Cirrus and me under his control. I despise him. But look, Father. Look who... Look who's under whose control now. Stinking rain is not let, let up since I arrived. It gets almost too quiet when it does, except for the distant screams of animals. Wonder what exists beyond those cliffs. Too wet to find out tonight, but there should be plenty of time for treasure hunting tomorrow. Judging by the chests in this wreck, I will not be disappointed. Oh, but won't Cyrus be enraged when he sees I got all the emeralds first? Been slashing through the jungle all week and have yet to run into any people. What did you do, father? Get them to turn this island into some kind of wild animal park? It would be just like you to convince the stupid idiots to do that. I have to hand it to you, though. The heads on some of these beasts will look really good on my walls. Uh, got my first taste of primate today. I was cutting a path through the jungle when one of the stupid buggers clonked me from behind with a piece of fruit. It scared the hell out of me. I whipped around, ready to slice and dice, but I let out this earpiece and shriek. Must have been a signal to its buddies, as they all took off into their nests. Too bad Mr. Shrieker wasn't fast enough. Man, is it hot. I'm actually starting to like these infernal thunderstorms. They ruin a good day of hunting, but at least they cool things down for a while. Surprised my greedy brother hasn't shown up yet. He's got to know I skipped out on him in Serenia after we called that little truce. He's insane if he thinks his plan there will work. We should just kill Father and be done with it. Then again, maybe I should link back to Mystic and Vince Cirrus to set the old man free here in Haven. After all these weeks of practice, my hunting and tracking skills have really improved. There we are. No way, no way, no way. It's not got to be here. Somewhere. Got to be. But I've searched and searched and... Where's the blasted linking book? I have to pull myself together. Come up with a plan. That's what Cirrus would do, isn't it? He... Where the hell is Cirrus? Doesn't matter. Need a base. Some place to hole up in some... St Stop it. Think. The ship. It'll do for now till I build something better. Got to be easier to get into, though. Easier, but protected against intruders. Got to protect myself, right? Good. That's good. That's... I'm gonna kill you for this old man. Lash out blood spurting. Need better spear. Wind tunnel, I think. Something successful day today. Mostly Karnax. Figuring out how to use their fishing habits against them was sheer genius. Can't escape, I must. Wrongful imprisonment. Where is Cirrus? Past few days too much. Don't remember killing. Something else here? Big second predator hunting. Why haven't I seen it yet? Figured it out. Something wicked, I think. 
brother, tongue of snake. I think trick me with truth something on Serenia. Cirrus is trapped too. Well, something's busy building the machines. Some he linked to Spire in search of plunder. Spire, father's other dangerous age. Miserable uh, something. Hamodi nearly ripped my leg off. Pull a vanishing act and just wait till hunting post is finished. Something tracks, rainwash most. Found them. Definitely tracks. Sneaky bastard. Think something waits. Fifth kill site. Look fresh. Only something. Um, smell me coming and took off. What is this thing? My god, the size. Impossible. Hand still shaking. Didn't expect attack. Didn't realize. Magnificent. I'll see him rearing out of sea. Water spilling down gills. Such malice. Such death in his eyes. Sun sinking behind reflections so bright, nearly blinded. Must have planned it that way. Must have known. But I'm alive, Sea Spawn. Still alive, and able to feed you as death is my witness. I shall decorate my kingdom with your bones. Okay. Let me... Let me take a picture of this. So is that all, looks like it's all of the ship for now. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a sec. Save. Okay. Now let's go into the interior. the rope ladder. There we go. There's stairs? Wow. That's beautiful. Ominous, but beautiful in a way.
Whoa. Okay. I'm worried I'm going to get myself lost. Okay. Let's go back and keep checking out the jungle. This plant poison deals with like the tiger predators or whatever those are. They're not tigers, but they have like a big cat uh, build to them. Oh, there's a second path here. Okay, I'm wondering if this is important, so... Grasslands... Alright, and then the ship had just the... Uh, I don't remember what was on it, but I can get back there.
Okay, let me just check. Is there anything? No. Nice music. Okay. Ah. Here we go. Okay, let me get back to the ship real quick. I'll take a look at that totem pole. Yeah. Oh, let me bring this into focus. Where with another find it. Um, I gotta take a drink here. I remember this age having some bullshit puzzles. One that was so so bad that Ubisoft had to uh, patch something in to make it less uh, stringent. I can go.
Oh. Okay. Figure out which holes to put the hammers in. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. which holes to put the hammers in. Oh, do they not need... Okay.
There we go. Is there anywhere else I can go? Oh. Okay. Double away. It's an hourglass. here but where uh let me turn off Okay, no, that doesn't have anything to do with it. Those totem poles must have something to do with it. Okay. Let's go through the swamp here. Okay, so the swamp has what looks like figure eight. Aha!
Alright, what trip the magnifying glass? Okay, so yeah, this is the final puzzle here. This is the one that everything builds towards. Okay. So... I've got five of these pegs and... Five symbols, there's gotta be set. I gotta set the com- it's a combo lock, essentially. And so, I was right, those... Things in the grassland, the, those totem poles do matter. I found four of them, so there's a fifth one. Somewhere. Well, it's with these dinosaur like The ship one had that giant um Mo the monster skeleton, whatever it is. <sighs> okay, I know there's a part of the island I'm missing. I know there's more here. Just... Uh, where is it? Okay. Okay, let's check up here again. Wake has those hammerhead things. Hmm. 
And then the grassland had those big cat. Catch them. So I think the last one I need to find are the monkey things. Let me. Okay. So... Oh, I think this may be the way I'm missing. Yeah, this is definitely new. Okay. Ah. Gotta move them. Okay. 
Hey, this is the puzzle that I don't remember how to do. Gotta listen for audio cues. Okay, that's it. Alright, so... Got a long eye. And then what sounds like a short eye, and then short low, short low, and that's maybe a middle high. I don't know. Let me go back up. I gotta listen. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, I'm gonna need to bust out Universal Hint System for this. There were four mangries turning the light. Oh. Okay.
Okay. What am I missing here? Maybe I, oh, I think I had, I think I had the tone slightly mixed up. Instead of high, middle, high, it may have been high, low, high. Okay. Yeah, it's high. Yeah, it's high, low, high. Okay, come on. Okay, let me hear the duration again. Oh. 
Come on. Oh, did they go away? They went away. I got them. Okay. Okay, now I have to figure out the order. Okay, it's got a okay, pyramid diagram is what I need to look at. It's rolled up. Wait, just says. Ah. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so pyramid one, three, four, and five. Five has the puff things. has the like the chicken butt or whatever those are. Three has the three fingered hands. Two has the and then number one has the five fingered. Okay. I need to go back to the ship now. Don't hide stuff like that in obscure, out-of-the-way places game. It's not fun.
Okay. Stop revving your cars like hell, people. Okay. So I think that the three cove one is the monkeys. So then that big five-fingered thing isn't on here, so I assume that's the whale thing. That two-toed thing looks like meat, so... I think that's a big cat. The fish has to be that hammer head. Then the dinosaur things are in the swamp. I think. This is just such bad puzzle design. It's weird and I don't like it.
Yeah, that looks right. Okay, now let's get back to... Yeah, I'm disoriented. Check out their uh... maybe. Mm. I don't know. I'm gonna try what I have now. Okay, so one is the whale, which should be on the far left, just because that's how things normally work. Okay. So that is... Oh. That. Two is the big cat thing, which are that. Three is the monkeys, which. Uh, let me do a quick scroll through. Yeah, they're that. Fourth is the uh, hammerheads, which I don't. That thing's broken, so I gotta use this one. So, uh, Hammerhead, or at the lake they have the Hourglass. Okay, and then fifth are those dinosaur things in the swamp, which have that. Hey, hey! I think, personally, think it's a little bit bullshit. Because they hide stuff from you, it's just... Too late. You're all dead. 
Not sure I can do this. Pen feels awkward. Keeps slipping. Been so long since I used one. But what else is there? What else to do? Went back to wreck today. First time since moving into house. Found his bones exactly how I left them. Except clean now. Bleached white by the sea. How many times have I replayed it since then? Sun sinking into the waves. Tip of my spear. Gleaming wet with the poison. See myself crouching low near the rock. So sure he will come. Because of his mate. Sometimes in my head it happens different. Poison gets diluted. Or one of her ropes snaps and breaks. He rears back. Spear misses. Somehow they both get away. And we all get one more day worth living for. Reset traps today. Swamp water corroded one of them. Forced to go to depot to fix. Coming back saw a camadile take down a zephyr. Moved with such precision. Not a single gesture wasted. Zephyr probably didn't feel a thing. It's not what I expected. Living lakeside, it's calmer. Not as windy. But rain still beats down like in the wreck. And it's hot. Still hot. Only real difference is the screams. A lot closer now. On all sides, starting to get on my nerves. Can't sleep. Too many screams. And when I close my eyes, the things I see. The faces. My god, Cirrus. Did we really kill so many? Added it up. Best I could. Eight years. Three since I killed the last... Serpati Or something like that? Keep thinking I should do something for fun. Or for him. Place some kind of tribute next to the bones. Totem pole, maybe. God knows carving it would keep me busy for a while. Maybe I can make one for each of them. What's the use? What's the use? Can't go on like this. Can't think. Have to do something. Keep my mind off the dreams. Maybe, maybe go south a few days. Sleep outside. My godfather. Did it have to be the same? Two weeks working my way through the south jungle and for what? More of the same. More of the same empty nothingness. Can't take it anymore. Can't live like this. Karnax got in while I was away. Forgot how agile they are. Braver too when they're hurt and in groups. When they're hunting in groups. Been breeding like mad ever since I killed their primary predator. Should probably do something about that. But maybe I can redesign one end of the bridge. Create some kind of lock to keep him out. Went back to the south jungle today, hoping I'd miss something. Saw a group of mangries playing under their nests. Thought about replenishing supplies, but couldn't do it. They just looked too peaceful. Eventually turned to go and spied one of them watching me. Their lookout, I suppose. Wonder how long he knew I was there. Ink supply getting low. Watering it down, but might try to make more. The way the channel would tree dwellers once taught me. Found some petals in the south jungle that might work for the ink. Picked a few to take back as an experiment. While picking them, I noticed something odd about the mangries in the north. They all scat in the north they all scatter something, but the south only look curious. Must be because I never hunted them. New ink seems okay. We prefer a better color though. I'll head back to the south jungle in the morning, see if I can find different varieties. I don't believe it. Went back to gather more petals and found a bunch of them already picked. They were lying in a pile where I'd been working. Mangrees must have done it. Imitating me? Spent most of the morning in the watchtower, trying to observe from a distance. Find out how they act when I'm not there. Couldn't see much, though. Trees are too thick. Would like to get closer somehow. I suppose I could build another post, but, I'd have, but it'd have to be different this time. Not a lot left I can take from the wreck. Kind of like the idea of going all natural. How the heck did Savijor's people do it? Been weaving support branches all day and my arms and chest muscles are killing me. Mangry sure got a kick out of watching though. One of them even stopped playing long enough to come over and give me advice. At least that's how it seemed. Wouldn't stop chirping at me. Or chirruping at me. Made me want to rig up another sound system. See if I can try and talk back. Oh my god, it can't be. It can't. This evening I was sketching in the post, trying to get their expressions right. Mangries were playing that game they like to play. Fruit tossing. Ball must have rolled under the post. All of a sudden I heard this cry I'd never heard before. A sequence of drawn out highs and lows. 
looked up and found all of them looking at me, pointing at the ball and making that sound like they were calling a name. My name. They've given me a name. What am I supposed to do with this, Father? What am I supposed to do? Okay, so there's the switch to get back across. Cool. Ah, okay. Short low. Short middle. Long high. Okay. Maybe top down. Long
Okay, so I gotta get past that thing. think let me see does that give me anything Sorry, I hit my mic again. Uh. 
Okay, so. Middle low is third month. Short <sighs> low and then long low. Okay. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, okay. They're all in the lake house. Okay, so they're all here somewhere. Can I go up? Yes, I can. Okay, so... Short, low, long, high, it's another one. Hmm. Okay, Akinar was painting.
Okay, so. Short, low, short, middle. Then is the other one on the inside of the other chest? Okay, let's try upstairs. And then short, middle, long, high. This is, I really don't like it. Hello, you just have to hide everything. Because otherwise they don't have a puzzle, it feels like. Okay, that's it. I'm just feeling worn out from the bullshit in Haven. So, that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, I'm actually not going to be back tomorrow night. I'm not doing Fright because tomorrow is Duck Feed Jackbox night, and I forgot about that. So, uh, I will do a... Uh, I'll make up, make it up over the weekend because I really like Prey and I want to kind of get through that so I can finally listen to the WAF on it. But yeah, so I'll be back uh, sometime this weekend with more Prey and then I'll be back on Monday with more Mist 4. So thank you everyone who tuned in. This has been a longer than normal stream just to help me de-stress and get rid of some anxiety. Okay, have a good night everyone and have a good rest of your week. See you on the weekend. Bye.